Yoki Doki YouTubers. This is the second video of Batman vs. Sasuke. So now that Sasuke has given Batman 1% of his power, 1% of his strength feet, and 1% of his speed feet, or less. So Batman has utilized those 1% of his strength feet and his speed feet inside his uh armor now keep in mind this is sasuke's weakest and lightest form the weakest right well i'll just say at one percent or less so batman has in his armor one percent or less of sasuke's armor well of sasuke's strength and his speed this basically leaves sasuke looking towards Batman to see that this guy is pretty obvious. So he doesn't have any chakra, he's just a normal human being. Now when Sasuke tend to see things like this, it kind of really makes him laugh. Because obviously, Sasuke is even a lot more powerful than that. Okay, even though that he could probably... <clears throat> uh probably get wounded by other ninjas sasuke's speed is beyond crazy okay his speed it goes all the way up to light speed so if he's giving somebody the weakest form of his power it's a joke to him okay it's a literal joke to sasuke and he wouldn't even take that battle as serious more likely Pretty much as he's done in the Naruto universe, toys around with his opponent and pretty wax off with him and possibly use the Shiren Gun just to joke around with him. Now, here's the other part about Batman. Now that Batman has 1% of his strength feet and his speed feet upgraded into his armor. Now, keep in mind, guys, though that Sasuke is... Up to par to light speed, Batman is the one and only strategist, greatest strategist in the DC Universe. People like Bane and people like the Joker are the best of what they do, right? But Bane had to literally watch Batman and study Batman to take him down. Well, it was pretty obvious that sometimes Bane could just run up to people and challenge them and fight them and just basically beat them because he's just more than just a world-class fighter. Joker, on the other end, is a... Prince of Crime. He's, he is what you call a terrorist. Now, with this being the said, as good as he is, he has to really randomly do things on a side to distract Batman so he don't bring Batman to the point of taking him down. However, Batman not only is so, yeah, 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 excuse me. So, by Batman being the one and only greatest fight, greatest hand to hand combat fighter in the entire DC universe, right? He is, uh, it will take a lot more than just you being the best strategist and the best tactician is to take him down. You need a whole lot more to take down Batman. Now, in this case and in this scenario of a fight, Batman beats Sasuke, okay? So, I told you from the beginning how Batman will literally beat Sasuke, right? He would basically beat Sasuke by simply using his methods, by doing nothing but only creating diversions, right? He will only use diversions taking down Sasuke, but the problem is with this is that Batman's not going to be using these diversions just so that he can attack, uh, yeah, just so that he can like literally attack, um, Sasuke. He's using these diversions to fight Sasuke and using s these methods to fight Sasuke so Sasuke won't ever keep up with him, right? 
So let's just say Batman does Wing Chun. He's using Wing Chun to distract Sasuke with. So Sasuke, so Sasuke is going to respond to Wing Chun. And, you know, he's going to take Batman for a joke. So he's not going to use his top speed. So when he toys around with Batman, Batman uses this as an advantage to give yeah, to literally give Sasuke more diversions. And right when he least expected, Batman takes out freaking Sasuke. Batman takes out Sasuke. And he's done this through all of the DC comics. The problem with Sasuke is that Sasuke is not able... Yeah, Sasuke can keep on point, but he's not able to understand everything that goes on and happens at one time. There's even some times that he has to even think in the process, create a diversion, get away from the opponent, and think at the same time, bro. And like, there's even go, it, it, and it even goes that when he actually fought Naruto, right? And both of these guys was using full chakra, and they basically destroyed the platform. He literally struggled, him and Naruto struggled with each other to fight and take each other down now the thing about this is that sasuke is not a good prep or pre-planner right because once again he's not gonna fight an opponent he doesn't know anything about and because batman is a good detective he got him to read out half of what he's actually capable of doing so in a hand-to-hand -hand combat he literally actually toys around with Batman, right? So let's just say he gave Batman his speed feet up to Mach 1, right? And his strength feet to like literally punching a hole in a car. So Batman has the armor that is, e that is equivalent to that. While he's toying around with Batman, right? Batman begins to use these diversions. So... Sasuke is moving around Batman at Mach 2, okay? Batman is not going to be amazed at this because, number one, he doesn't trust everything everyone tells him, okay? We already have that. If we, he doesn't trust anything nobody says, but the problem about the beginning is that Batman is Batman is a good listener. He is able to get he is literally able to get him to read out half of what he's capable of doing. And even if it may seem like this is not what he is, if it wasn't where he was, then Batman at Mach 1, like Sasuke would usually do, move around at Batman with Mach 2 speed. So he's going to know that he's a lot faster than what he told him. So this is going to be exactly what Batman has expected from the beginning so with that goes to play while he's moving around him at Mach 2 Batman moves at Mach 1 and begin using diversions at Mach 1 to distract him right so now he makes a move to hit Batman and Batman used that 1% of that strength feat and counters him with it so for you for those of you guys who may be looking like huh how would he be able to counter somebody that's moving at Mach 2 speed well it's pretty obvious that Batman is going to literally allow Sasuke to ding him around the match they are fighting until Batman literally gets the method of where he wants him to hit him to or where he expects to hit him to which Sasuke will more likely do he will be able to counter it Batman is not only the one and only greatest strategist, but he is also the greatest tacticianist and a good thinker. The thing about this is when Batman thinks outside the box, he don't look at himself, but he looks at others as well. So he will imagine him being Sasuke toying around him in the ring. And at the same time, he would be able to get him to hit him exactly where he wants to hit him. When that 
goes to play, and when Batman counters him with that Mach 1 speed, right, and use that strength feat to break Sasuke's arm, he will throw him on the ground by turning his own speed against him. So, prime example, let's say that Batman, while he was moving around punching him at uh, Mach 2 speed. Sasuke is going to come in front of him right at Mach 2 and hit him on the chest, right? Batman's going to fall and he's going to he's going to fall. And when he stands back up quick, he's going to expect that he's going to hit him on the side of the neck at Mach 2. Once he get him at Mach 2, Batman is going to use Mach 1 and jump over him, right? and grab his arm and sedate him, okay? And he's going to use his Mach 1 speed and his strength and force that compression against Sasuke's shoulder, and he's going to break his shoulder at that speed. Keep in mind... The fight speed, right, and his move speed, his traveling speed is like at light speed. And his and his top fighting speed is also, I can just say, at light speed. If not, comment below, give me a panel so that I can use that for future references. But more than likely, Batman just won't use the traveling speed. He won't use Mach 1 for travel speed or movement speed. He's going to use the Mach 2 for his, for, yeah, the, the fight speed. His fight speed and all. Well, yeah, his fight speed and all. And this basically even gives him an advantage over Sasuke. So in this case, Batman would be, Batman is more of a thinker than Sasuke would. And by him being the one and only greatest DC, uh, strategist and, and, and combat, yeah, in combat and combating it in the whole DC universe, he really actually beats Sasuke. He takes Sasuke's out with no problem. Okay. And the reason why he will beat Sasuke is because Sasuke knows that he gave him 1% of his power, right? But what he doesn't know is that Bruce Wayne was literally able to utilize that power with his fighting methods. And at that power, he literally managed to strategize a way not to take down Sasuke, but to give him a diversion, to make him think that he's taken down. But not that he only to make him think that he's taken down. He also used this diversion to this fighting method to actually confuse Sasuke so that Sasuke can't ever keep up with him. Batman used different tactics and different fighting strategies so that Bat so that the person Batman's fighting won't be able to keep up with him. And I've explained this from the beginning. If he's, if, if Sasuke knows and Sasuke is using A, B, C, D, Batman is going to be using C, B, D, 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, D, F, G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He's not doing this because he wants to attack him. He's doing this so he won't yeah, he's doing this so that Sasuke won't ever keep up with him. And Sasuke looking at these different tactics and in fight strategies will begin to put him in a thinking mode. He will begin to wonder about Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman, and how was he literally able to utilize the small amount of power he read it out to him and actually be able to take him down. This will lead Sasuke no other choice but to probably try to amp up his speed. But before he already did that, Batman has already thrown something on him that will paralyze his body and dismantle him, man, and keep him from hurting or possibly killing anyone else so in this case batman takes the fight by literally outthinking sasuke there is no way in the literal world sasuke will outthink batman because it was shown that batman has even fought the some of the greatest heroes like superman and managed to take out superman okay if he had a armor 
right that was equivalent to Superman's full strength and they fought the hand to hand he will beat Superman and the way Batman fights he fights to confuse his opponent not to attack them but he fights to confuse them so they they won't keep up with him and now that he's able to do this and once he makes that attack against that he changed the movements so it makes the opponent even harder to understand what's even going on thus far giving Batman the advantage to literally take him out so in this case and scenario Batman win guys because of that so if you have any questions or comments hit them below and uh, for those of you out there who want to say no mystery evaluator you're full of crap I mean, Sasuke would just, the minute Sasuke noticed that Batman is doing this, he'll take the blade and go at his full speed and slice Batman up. Well, it goes back to what I said from the beginning. Batman doesn't trust nobody, okay? He doesn't trust anybody. So he's going to know that this guy is a lot faster than what he says he is. I told you that Sasuke is going to toy around with Batman. Batman's going to move around at Mach 1, but Sasuke is going to move around at, uh, yeah, and move around at Mach 2. So this will already see that this will already show Batman he's a lot faster than what he says he is. Batman doesn't trust nobody in the beginning. So he's going to create something, right? Before he goes out there to penalize Sasuke. And when just, just when he gets the thought about moving at his top speed or actually, let's not talk about Sasuke. Let's just say that Batman gets to the point, right? To where now Sasuke moves at Mach 3. Before it goes any further, Batman takes out a button or a device and basically shatters out a... Uh, uh sends a wave that literally affects and will like basically what what's that word I'm looking for and that will basically dismantle dismantle Sasuke's entire body let's just say that he sent a powerful electromagnetic wave with the press of a button it basically paralyzes yeah paralyzes doggone Sasuke in his entire body let's just say that he has an impressive healing factor then because from what batman studied by the time he comes with that impressive healing factor batman's already gone he's already left the minute he pressed the button okay and, and see that's the thing to it and here's another thing so by the time before batman will leave he already healed instantaneously and so now he begins to attack batman right but Batman has already created another diversion, right? So, and now that Batman is out of the armored suit, he attacks the armored suit and well, and before he realizes it, this doggone arm, but yeah, so, so I'm just saying that Sasuke's on the ground after Batman took him down with that electromagnetic wave that paralyzed his body. He healed instantaneously, got back up, and attacked the suit that which he thinks Batman is in. And Batman falls, and he falls down on the ground and tears that suit up at his top speed. And before he realizes it, when the smoke clears, the suit sends a discharge of... 240 electronic volts through his body and it doesn't ever stop it keeps going so the point is it sends so much voltage of electricity it basically destabilizes his body also his healing factor well Bruce, superman never wanted to fight batman but batman has able to use enough electricity and enough juice to even electrocute superman even though he known that superman was holding back but it was enough to keep him steady until he got kryptonite so in this case the scenario when he's fighting sasuke he's going to give sasuke right or create a serum or something 
right? He could possibly inject into Sasuke, right? So the minute he takes him down and he heal instantaneously, attack the armor suit that Batman was no longer in. And before he realizes it, it shoots a needle in him. And it basically kind of the, the same amount of power he gave out to Batman. He uses that power to like, uh, yeah, to like compress to compress itself against uh, Sasuke's body in the inside. And this right here will leave... Uh, yeah, this right here will also leave Sasuke stable, like destabilize him. So, all in all, no matter how it goes, uh, Batman, because of his excellent strategies and his thinking, he will literally beat Sasuke and he will just basically have Sasuke out of his, out of his nerve. So in this case scenario, guys, Batman beats Sasuke. So we're going to also go and I'm going to actually, uh, do another video on this and I'm going to confirm, uh, with some, uh, yeah, with some good mathematics. Well, actually, I'm not good with math, so I'm just going to actually confirm this with, with some other comic panels. So, well, not com well, yeah, comic panels or whatnot, and basically how Sasuke thinks overall versus how Batman thinks and utilize his thinking skills versus how Sasuke thinks. So, we all know that, you all should know that Batman does a lot more strategy and a lot more thinking than Sasuke does. Sasuke's thinking is just only for the current situation. This is how and why Sasuke is not credited the best fighter in the uh, Naruto universe. Instead, he is just only a great powerful ninja to be at that. But the reason why uh, Batman is better and and is the greatest in the DC universe is because he don't only thinks for the current situation he thinks in the future situations in the current situations the future and the present situation he stays plan ahead of time so I'm also going to be doing another video on that too as well so if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. This is your guy, Evaluator, out.